okay, well, this was just a little moment. Decided that <coughs> I've been to the doctor today, received my antibiotic for what's happening, what I'm sick with, and finally got to upload the YouTube tonight, and then just, I'd say, for a little moment, decide I could come on and probably just, um, do a little demo as to how a little extra work is done along just to kind of make it so we have the widow's peak on the raccoon, which is at the top of the head, above the ears, and so as for now, there's a little certain step I say we will take, and then I say, you know, just put it to work and come down to what we will make and see how this is going to come to what we're going to see, what it's going to be, and then just kind of, I'd say, like, um, get the little thread in here and kind of like, I say, start on a strand where we're going to kind of place it right through the needle and tell us how this is just a little ways to make things go just good, right, and straight. So I say, as for getting a little line out of this, put a little thread into the eye and take it so we've kind of got the little place where we draw the line and make the little knot to tie the little needle in place to the thread and so I say one little good work to do is kind of come up here where we make it to where we see the place where these two places are going to intersect here. This part up here is the widow's peak that is going to go down on the front of the head of the raccoon, but this is how we work on it here. We are not going to sew these tabs together, only these tabs. So that's where we take this little next line and you'll kind of come to see the reason why as we go to another step, but <clears throat> this is kind of what I'd say is the step we probably most of all needed to take here. Sorry for all the coughing I did in one of the last videos or two, but I say that at least I'm kind of getting to where I can be better in a few days and be back to work pretty soon and I have to take a couple more days off to give the antibiotics some time to work but surely we'll be over the germ by then probably not over every symptom completely I wouldn't say doctor even said today with all the coughing you're doing I would recommend wearing a mask so luckily I was wearing one in the office today and I'd say whenever I kind of went back into that patient room I kind of took it off for a moment for some reason and then of course wore it out in the lobby though but I say that we managed things well and took care of things best way we could and doctors kind of I say they know what they're doing they're always out just to help us when we're sick and they kind of know the proper treatments to take for things, and we know that, I mean, not every doctor's the same, but I've always had good doctors in my life who just always knew the right things to tell you in life and how to make it good. I say that this is a place where 
with this being the place where the widow's peak goes in and this being the place where the widow's peak goes out, <coughs> there's a place along here where we are going to put this tab here against this tab here. So they're going to be a little separate in ways as of how we're going to get them out and then <coughs> as for how this is going to turn out for the better we got a little another little place to kind of put on here and sort of I'd say you know like um and the threads already coming all the way out through the other end so we gotta kind of be a little more cautious here with what we got and what we're saying and playing and I think I've kind of gotten it further along down the line I say probably just got barely enough to get it right in and there's a little knot I plan to make right about here to go right into the thing and take it where it's going to <coughs> kind of see what it's going to work out for the best and then kind of I'd say the things that this is going to work out for us kind of make it so the widow's peak of the raccoon is going to come out just in the place where it ought to and perhaps even for this little step kind of go a little further down about these little ears we have and kind of take it where it's kind of working away along and put a little bit of a step of a needle in and kind of make it so we kind of come along the corner of the ear here. We're not going to do the whole ear yet, so that will be something to save for a later time. And for a lot of these creatures I've done, I've already kind of demonstrated on certain other creatures the way we do the ears and how we kind of do them from two separate sides of the piece and how we work little ways about them just to see how they're going to come out and see what we have for us and what they do to make it so we kind of have great sight in all the things and all the little ways that shall find its way to us. Going on along here, got a little bit extra work to do. I say that this could be a little bit of a longer video than I hoped or intended, but probably not too long a one. And with what we have here, we finally got one side of the widow's peak made. Just to try to ease up your work a little bit, we're going to try to take it on different little sides as to how we do and make things so they don't stress us out, tire us too much, and make it where it gets a little more harder to <coughs> get around and work with and deal with. But with all this little stuff <coughs> we have, it shall come out so it's going to be a little bit of a better way and then come down to where we make the little knot to go in just the way it's supposed to do and then kind of get where okay like something happened here we got a big loop come out that we forgot to take care of when it was there so we're gonna tie the thread around that loop to try to 
get it back in its good old place and sure enough would say by now we got it and there's also one thing where as for how we to kind of take on this other little side of the widow's peak there's just little marks to make and little places to take and little lines to go about and kind of show how the little work is coming its way to us and of all things you know just put another little line right in to make another little thread go in and take around where we come to the other side of the peak kind of put <coughs> extra little places along the side where this is just what it's meant to be the little time when we get a little more done we say this is just kind of among the work that we have to do and this is a time when we're going to work along the things make them so we see what little things they're going to be and hopefully in the end get a chance to turn this out a little better let you all kind of see the other side of the face the front side of the face once the whole peak is done and then <coughs> kind of take it where we took the last one this is just a little two side of a thing and this is just where we make things intersect just a little bit as for how this comes along we got a little more to have to say but <coughs> it'll manage itself in its own little good do time and I say that this is just what one little time when a loop gets around a big piece of fabric it takes a little time and space away from it so this is where we come along try to make it so we see little raccoons come down to the little noise in their life showing you little kind things kind words kind likenesses and above all the best of things just <coughs> making little lines show out all for the better when we're going to turn it out we're going to see the widow's peak on the other end and come down to where we're going to <coughs> get where we see just what we do this is what I have to show you so far as far as how we've gotten the peak into the fabric it's going to go up a little ways like this and once we sew up the ears it will show even better so I'm about to have to turn this off here so I can kind of get a break, but thanks again for watching and take care. Hope to see you in the next.